Yo, this is Jukes, aka African Boy, all the way from 255 Tanzania, and you're watching The Source. Subscribe for more videos. Pop! Jukes, Karibu Kenya. Your sound is a mix of R&B and rap with a flair bongo. Who influences your music? Many people. Special Tanzanian artists, because uh, before starting the music, before getting the mainstream, I used to listen to a lot of bongo flavor, Dooley Sykes, T.I.D. Mm -hmm. And I was a rapper before, so that's why you see my music, uh, my sound is a little bit like rap, R&B, bongo flavor. Yeah. Have you ever thought of working with any of those legends? Like Dooley Sykes is my brother, he always call, call me to give me advice, I always call him to ask him for advice. And I think uh, next year I'm going to release a song with him and he's in, in my album, like I have the song with him in my album. Even T.I.D. I, I want to do the song with him. I want to do the song with all the people that I was looking, looking to when I, I didn't get in the music. Because now I have the chance and I have the power to tell them to do the song with me. Because they trust me, like I, I can do, I can sing, I can do the music. platform yeah, no. So I want to put all of, I mean, all of them in my album. Is there any Kenyan rapper or musician that you'd like to work with? Uh, I've already worked with some Kenyan artists. Yeah. Uh, I have a song with Nyashinsky. He's the best. Mm -hmm. This guy is talented. I love, I love his music. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to work with South Soul. Uh, oh, South Soul and you would be like late. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even They're my boys, so I'm talking to them. And I think, I think soon we're gonna we we'll love the song together. Yeah. I love a new song of uh, there's a song called High of Otile Brown. Mm -hmm. It's like Kazumba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I want to call him and say like, bro, I want to do a remix of this song. I really love that song. Yeah. It's like crazy. I didn't tell him though. This is the first time. Exclusive. Tell him, tell him. <laughs> Otile, <laughs> your song, hi. Uh, appreciate your beauty. I want to do a remix with that song. So, yeah, we're going to talk about that. I love that song. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of artists in. I love Cardi Graf too. He's the best. I think he's one of the best rappers in, in, in Africa. Mm. I love... I think Kenyan mu I mean Kenyan singers or rappers are dope. Like there's good music in Kenya. So most of the them they're doing amazing work. Who are you working with for Good Studio? Uh, Chelsea from Mozambique. Ah, I'm yeah. excited about that. Yeah, so excited. She's very talented. Mm. Yeah, and uh, we did amazing stuff in Cox Studio with her. Like she's a great singer. She likes to to learn I mean, new stuff every day. Like she, she even sang Swahili in uh, some of the songs that we made in Cox Studio. So, yeah, just you stay and wait for it. It's crazy. What did you learn about yourself while on tour? About uh, yourself, your craft. First, uh, for now, like I, I can say that I can do any kind of show. So, Medifunza Vitu Vingi. So it was not easy. A lot, a lot of. Matatizo, a lot of changamoto, mm. stress, like ni, as long as imefanikiwa na kama unataka kutoka kwenye semu ulipo kuna semu you don't have to be, like sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone mm. so that you can do big things. Because mm. if you will not do that, you can see changes. Kwa hiyo ni mejifunza vitu vingu ni in love and money tour and next year, maybe we pushing a lot, maybe to come to Nairobi. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Why do you sing <laughs> about love so much? You know a lot about love. <laughs> I think everybody knows about love, it's not only me, but uh, when I started, uh, I started music uh, in my head, of course I love to sing love songs and I wanted my first album to be the love, the love album, and that's the name of the album, mm -hmm. the love album. Mm -hmm. I wanted all the songs in it to be love songs, in every kind of way. Kama umeshawai kuchitiwa, umeshawai kuumizwa, umeshawai kupenda, umeshawai kulia, umeshawai kumuiba mtu wa mtu, umeshawai ku... Everything you can find it in, al in my album, the love album. So, nilitaka iwe hivyo, ndomana mwana njimbo nyingi. Lakini I have some few songs here za mapenzi. Ila, kuni album yangu ya kwanza, mbo mungu wakipenda maybe next year, itatoka. I want it to be the line about love. Kila kitu kune, kwenye album kwenye ni mapenzi. Yeah. Um, in music, you've been awarded as one of the most fashionable artists. One of the most fashionable artists in East Africa. Yeah. Um, how would you describe your style? And maybe you can tell us a bit about your collection, The African Boy. Oh, okay. Kwanza Asante Sana na This is the first time I'm going to be Oh, really? You didn't yeah. know that? 
Uh, what, what, what? You've, been, you've been mentioned. Uh, you've been mentioned twice in two magazines. Oh. Yes, you have. Okay, yeah. that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate. <laughs> uh, it's it's good because uh, the funny thing I don't have. I've never had a stylist or anybody who's telling me that wear this, wear this, you have to dress like this. No. If I did this this suit or this shirt is comfortable. Mm. And for me fashion is not konekanatu. It's about how comfortable you are when you are wearing the outfits, how clothes. Kwa sababu hata kama nitapendeza vipi kama naweza kuvaa hii miwani au koti alafu siko comfortable nayo no matter nzuri vipi I'll not wear it so first lazima niwe comfortable kwa kitu cha pili kwamba sitaki sipendi kufananaga na watu sana i like to be different kidogo kama kwenye muziki i don't want to be the same hata kama unatoa nyimbo yako ina hit sana in, kuna sound imetoka mimi I'll find a different sound ambayo kidogo naweza kuja kuleta kitu i believe in that kuvaa pia yeah, so hiyo pia imenisababishia ime nikaenda hadi kwenye 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 brand yangu mimi mwenyewe ambao ni African Boy. Can say now African Boy is one of the local brands in East Africa which is doing so good. Every young I mean young boy or young woman hata watu wakubwa pia young lady young men wanasema tu kwamba I want to wear African Boy t-shirts. But na ufungange. Na ona ona button sama. All the videos that you seen you have seen all the videos in YouTube. My director and watu ambao nawapaga. And sometimes nawapiga kama yeah, I don't want to put bed in my video. I don't want to take my shirt off. Lakini like, sasa wao sometimes wanakuambia bwana chooks you know you have to take your shirt off. Na ni sasa hivi nimepunguza sana. Kuna kipindi mimi ngasema ah I have a lot of things on the bed. Kila video niko kitandani. Kila video nimefungua kifu so this is too much. So it's true. Hata mimi sometimes nako lakini sasa watu ambao wanatoa hizo idea, I don't know wananiona kwenye nini wakawa wanaona vile. Like I don't know cuz labda wako sawa kwa sababu sasa hivi muziki wangu labda unapendwa zaidi. Labda unaona now you ask me about that kwa sababu hicho kitu ulikiona. So labda walikuwa wanataka kitokea hadi mtu aje kuniuliza. Do you feel like your difference has helped propel your career since you left? Do you feel like it's propelled you in any way? Yeah, because uh, still those those people who were my friends in the crew, ni bado marafiki zangu, I still work with them. Imenitengenezea fans tofauti kwa sababu kuna crew, mnakuwa mnapendwa kama crew, lakini ukiwa mwenyewe kuna watu wengine unacreate. Imetengeneza hivyo pia. Lakini crew yetu bado ipo ilikuwa inaitwa Wakacha. Sasa hivi kila mtu anafanya kazi zake lakini bado tupo. Siku yote ambayo tunatoka aje tukatukaamua tutoe kazi. Kamikazi is a businessman now. He's doing music pia anatoa toa nyimbo zake mimi sasa hivi nafanya muziki nimeingia kwenye business kama hivyo na brand yangu African boy ni jamaa tu chiga flow na sasa hivi anafanya kazi kwenye maofisi yeah lakini bado tupo sasa hivi naweza kuamua kwa sababu amalon kwamba ningetoa nyimbo i don't have to wait tu nani afanye hivi ya nini kwamba anytime naweza kutoa nini yeah it's up to you now yeah thank you so much asante